Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to replace the control board on your gas furnace. Now this can be intimidating because there's a lot of different terminals and plugs and pins, but we're gonna show you a very easy process of how to replace this control board and how to do it safely. So let's get right into it. All right, so this is a Train XR90 furnace. Uh, every furnace will be different, but um, this, all of these same principles apply regardless of what brand your furnace is. And the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna shut off our power. Now you don't have to do this, but you can verify that you don't have power by going over here to your transformer between the black and white wires and just put your voltmeter on that to make sure there's no voltage between those two pins. Now this can be a little bit intimidating, but with all of this, I highly recommend that you take pictures of everything from multiple angles. That way you have it for reference. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our new control board and we're going to start taking each of these wires off one at a time. So this black wire here is going to be our cooling wire. Now on our new board, we're going to look for cool and there you can see it right there. So we're just gonna take each pin one at a time. Yellow is for heat. Um, I just, I know that because I've looked at this board several times. Um, this one is not exactly the same. Um, it is made by the same company, but everything is not oriented exactly the same. So we have our heat pin there. And these, uh, this red and blue are just parked. So that means that they're not doing anything. If you wanted a certain fan control with these two wires, you would wire that up, but these two are just sitting on park. And lastly, our neutral wire is just this white one. And this is our neutral block. So all of these are neutral. Doesn't matter uh, which one goes where, they're all for neutral. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this big lug off here of get that one out of the way there's only one way that that will be able to plug in if you try and plug it in this way as you can see it just it will not work so we need to flip it this way and there you go clipped in now what you can do that'll make this process a little bit easier is you can pinch these little tabs that hold the board in place and that will allow it to come off of those little tabs so we're gonna do that for all of these. Now we have some better visibility onto, as to what these are labeled. So as you can see, this black wire is labeled EAC-H. So we're gonna look for that on our new board. There we go, right here, as you can see, EAC-H. And our next wire is going to be right here, line H, I'm gonna unplug that one. That's the wire that goes up to our switch. That's our main power wire. So line H right here, plug that in. Then our next wire is going to be XFMR-H. So that goes to the transformer, as you can see. And there you have it, xfmr dash H right there. So we'll plug that guy into there. Got this next one that says HUM dash H. So very easy process. We're just putting these back on HUM dash H right there. And it looks like we've got, so this big plug right here gonna squeeze the two ends, pull it out. And the same thing applies, this can only go in one way. So if we try to plug it in this way, it will not work. So we have to rotate it just like that. And lastly, we just have two neutral wires. These do not matter where they go. All of these go to neutral here on the left hand side of the, the board. So we're just gonna plug these in. And there we have it. Now this new board comes with these little plastic ones. So we're just snapping these old ones off. 
so the last thing we have to do is just transfer over these T-stat wires. So all we're gonna do with that is we're just gonna do these one at a time, just the same. So blue and white will go to our C. Okay, so let's just snug that down. And we'll just move along here. Uh, G is gonna be our green wire. So we'll take that, move it over to G on here. Well, that's it folks. So let's go ahead and test out the system and make sure that everything works like it should. Whatever your reason for replacing the control board should now be resolved, hopefully. So we'll just wait for that blower to come on and then we will know for sure that we're good to go. Nothing about this looked bad, but it was just not quite giving our motor enough voltage to power it up. And there we go. Now, if you wanna see how difficult it is to replace the blower motor on your furnace, Check out this video right here and we're gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to replace that blower motor and I hope you find it helpful. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.